Chat team, welcome to today's live training all about freeing up one day. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Josh Stone, founder of Ignite Coaching, where I help um, business owners grow and scale their engineering consultancies, uh, 0 to 1 million, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, uh, 5 to 10, and 10 million and beyond. Um, so to give some kind of context, um, the reason I built this training uh, free up one day for my boardroom clients, and uh, if you'd like a copy of the workbook, so I'm going to work you through the workbook uh, in a second, but if you'd like a copy of the workbook, please comment the word workbook below if you're watching this video live um, or a replay, or if you're watching on my website, uh, there's a link uh, below this little blue button for you to download the workbook um, and do this along together. So. Yeah, to give some context, like the industry is so busy at the moment and I'm finding with my boardroom clients that, you know, really they're struggling to find the time in their days and their weeks to actually focus on strategy, to focus on direction, to focus on the vision of their business. And so I built this training to really help my clients find the time to create the time in their calendars for the things that matter the most, for strategy, for direction, for client relationships, for all those things. I find that we kind of get pushed from pillar to post as business owners and we get to the end of the week and we kind of go, I don't really know what I achieved this week. Um, I didn't really get to speak to focus on strategy and direction. I didn't really get to focus on that next hire or that, that next thing that I want to focus on the business. So that is why um, I built this training to help my clients free up a day a week. So to kind of give some context uh, on why this is important, what we want to do here is help you get out of the weeds. I find that, like I said, you know, we're pushed, pulled from pillar to post. We're doing so many things in the business, but a lot of times we're not really sure whether the things that we're doing are effective and are helping grow the business. So this training helps you get out of the weeds. It allows you to create what I call a 30,000 foot view uh, over your business where you're kind of watching things, seeing how things are playing out, you're kind of anticipating things coming up, you're being strategic, you're being, um, you know, you're focusing on vision and strategy, um, but you're getting out of the weeds to focus on that. So, you know, getting to focus on that 30,000 foot view uh, over your business. You're creating the time of your week to create the space, and I'm, I intentionally use that word create, um, we're not hoping, we're not like, oh, I think I'll get to it this week. We are actually intentionally creating a space in our weeks to, you know, get a clear head, to think about new, fresh ideas in the business. Like, you know, what's a great opportunity in my business that's coming up? Where's my market going? What do my clients need help with? To kind of get out of the the day-to-day -day doing to create space in your calendar to think strategically, and it's a different mindset, it's a different part of your brain, rational versus creative to get into that more creative brain space, to think about where you're going, getting inspired and creating those fresh new ideas in the business. It's creating time in your week to have clarity and focus on those high priority activities that will make the biggest difference. So making sure that you've got time in your week, um, like, you know, we'll get to this in a second, but a lot of my clients uh, tend to block out sort of two two hour blocks across the course of their day or two half days or one full day, whatever works for you in terms of freeing up a day out of your week. But that time is sacred in your calendar. Um, and that time is for you to know that when you come to that space, that time in your calendar, that it's there for you to focus on the high priority activity. So you're not doing emails, you're not responding to phone calls, you're not, um, you know, helping your team on a certain project. You are there to have time to focus on those high priority activities and make the biggest difference in your business. It also means too that you're doing the things that you, well, you're only doing the things that you enjoy and that you're good at. So the whole concept of freeing up a day a week means that like we're not gonna magically kind of make more time in our week. It's about delegation. It's about recognizing the high value activities that you do versus low value activities. And looking at all those low-value activities and going, someone else in my business can be doing those for me. I need to get some help. I need to delegate, um, ensure that, that person is empowered to run that. Because it's not about making more time. It's about freeing up uh, time out of your week to focus on the things that you enjoy and the things that you're good at. 
Um, actually spending quality and focused time every week, brainstorming new and, new and unique growth ideas. Um, so again, similar to what I mentioned before, but it's time and out of your week to actually focus on you know exciting things that are happening in the business, brainstorming about the growth of the team, brainstorming about that next client that you'd like to bring into the business and, and how you're going to go about it. Joint ventures, mergers, you know, shareholding deeds, shareholders, like all that sort of stuff. If you don't make the time through freeing up a day out of your week, it will never, never, never get done. Um, it means too that you have a clear plan in place for how to grow your business with confidence. Like if you're getting time every week, like you've got a day a week, eight hours a week to focus on strategy, to focus on direction, to focus on vision, business planning, like that stuff just goes so smoothly when you've got that time in your week to actually focus on the things that are important, your vision, your North Star, where are you going, why, and what's your plan to get there. And so ultimately the whole concept of this training is to help you free up a day a week to allow you focus properly on strategy and direction. So when I ran this training for my boardroom clients, we actually built a, um, you know, we well, everyone blocked out time in their calendar. This is my time every week to focus on strategy and direction. But more importantly, or to add to that, we actually got them to set an agenda. So when they turned up to each of those catch-ups with themselves or with their other business partners, there was an agenda. They knew the things that they needed to hit so that you're actually getting to focus on the, the key elements that move the business forward. So strategy, vision, uh, delegation, um, you know, your North Star, business opportunities, that sort of thing. If you have an agenda in this time every week, it means that you're just coming to these catch-ups with yourself or that time blocked out in your calendar and you are just smashing through the high value strategy and direction stuff. So that's why this training is important, team. To give you some context on what we call the three big ideas. So the three big ideas um, that you're going to work through in the workbook or get out of this, uh, out of this training, we look at the value and energy model. So this is kind of working through um, this concept around value in terms of an activity, whether it's a high value activity or a low value activity. And then energy in terms of, do I love this activity? Am I good at it? Or should someone else be doing it for me? So you're getting really clear on your um, value and energy model, high value, low value, high energy, low energy. And then guess what? You're then spending, you're then looking at all the activities that you put in the high value, high energy quadrant. And these are the things that you should be spending 60 to 80% of your week on. And then everything else around the quadrant should you, you should be either looking to get some help with or delegating or stop doing all together. So that's the value and energy piece. We then look at actually freeing up one day. So this is really tangible. We look at your calendar. Where's time? How can I block that time out? Um, we've got to be realistic too. Like it's very likely that over the next two weeks, you're not going to be able to find any time in your calendar to block stuff out or block time out. But two weeks after that, we get really serious in terms of, okay, this is a good time for me. I'm going to do two two hour slots uh, every morning, or I'm going to do two half days, or I'm going to do one full day. And actually looking at your week and blocking that out, changing it to red, saying do not disturb or out, out of the office or whatever works for you, and actually religiously sticking to that in terms of actually freeing up a day out of your week or a day out of your calendar every week to focus on these things. And then the third big idea we look at team is removing blocks. So honestly, one of the biggest blocks I see to people actually freeing up time out of their calendar is this thing up here, the brain, your mindset. It's like, I, who do I think I am to kind of free up that time out of my week? I can't, I can't spend a day a week focusing on strategy and direction. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like we tell ourselves so many stories around why we can't. But honestly, this time that you're spending in your business is, is exactly what you need to be doing as a business owner time out of your week, every week, to focus on those high value activities that make the biggest difference. You can't not do it. So this, the third big idea is helping you remove those blocks and making a plan for you to move forward with confidence. So if we look through, like this is the workbook, um, all the trainings in here in terms of the value and energy model, we look at the freeing up one day a week in terms of brainstorming the opportunities and the benefits. We look at actually doing, ditching and delegating and to whom. We look at your calendar in terms of how you're actually going to free up that time every week. 
uh, we, then we come to the removing blocks in terms of, you know, what are the blocks, what's your action plan, um, and how are you going to move forward with confidence. So team, that's it. That's the free up one day training. Um, if you would like a copy of this workbook that we just worked through, please comment the word workbook below this post. Um, or if you are watching on my website, uh, there'll be a link below to download uh, the workbook. But that's it for me today. Um, team, look, freeing up one day this is honestly one of the most important things that you can do for your business. Recognizing that time is finite. You've only got so many hours in the day. You've got to be so careful and so um, intentional with the time that you spend on the business every single day. And my wish for you is to get out of the weeds and focus on those high value tasks that are going to move the business forward. Um, if you'd like some help with this sort of stuff, I love helping my clients uh, build their businesses. Um, if you want some help, please don't hesitate to reach out, send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call, uh, or send me a message. Love to have a chat about how I can help you grow your business uh, with confidence. Have an amazing day.